What's going on? Stobe Attack here and Wingman getting prepared to depart Klamath Falls. It's the 8th of August. And, uh, it sure is hot out here. It's going to be interesting. We've got the haze basically of just forest fires everywhere because it is like ultra hot. Zooming in here on a couple, it's about 105 out here. So basically, uh, Right over here, it's the Walmart in town. We got the BN train yard, which we're gonna be leaving from. We're gonna be featuring the Keddy Y area north to Bend. So uh, we're basically gonna start walking over here to the rail yard under that bridge, and hopefully things will be acceptable for us. A couple issues we may have here. Um, it's possible we have to get on a moving train regardless we're going to risk this 30 pack we've also got a cooler for it a decent amount of food uh, that could create a complication in the daytime here but uh, you know we'll do what we can to overcome it because it's a long ride with no civilization down to Keddy and then we're going to come back through here in north to Bend and there's, there's just not a lot of civilization or ability to be hydrated that's why we're bringing a 30 pack should be enough for two days, we're hoping. Getting on the train, if it's moving, if we put everything loaded down into this cooler and we can't get the cooler on, then we've just forfeited our ice and our beer. If we split it up in the bags and half rack it, then we might actually be able to guarantee getting some of the stuff on. So here's the main yard. Uh, this is pointing like northwest right here. Uh, as you can see, we got a right here. That's a train, two sections waiting to go south. I don't know when he's gonna go. It could be tomorrow morning. So we're already. Uh, down to 20 beers, we started with a 30 pack, and the ice is starting to melt in there too. So it's kind of annoying. We've only been here about four hours, and already this is what's going on. I'm thinking the cooler idea is romantic as it is, you know, traveling with a cooler full of beer, like it's obviously ain't gonna stay cold that long, especially in the heat. All right, well, we got a southbound pulling in right here the units. I'm hoping he's going to stop. It looks like he will. Yeah, we got the cooler. It's got two DPUs and various rides on the far back. Deep, DPUs meaning like engines on the back pushers. So that's so far we haven't seen any ride. There's a couple up there. We just got to be sure he's going to stop here. That was a good time. Man. This here is a, is a very nice kind of Basically in that little hole, there's a lot of room. Is that it? Is that... That cannot be it. We can't... We got a problem if that is, was the crew change. You see any rides coming? No. I don't know what's going on here, folks. It stopped for two sec, literally about 10 seconds. I, don't, I hope that wasn't it. I really hope that wasn't it. You want to get ready to go here? Well, we're stopped here again. It's about two minutes later. Um, we're not sure what's going on, but we're not getting on this thing because now it's, he may cut the train. I'm not sure what's going on. It's, well, there they go. They're just cutting it off, cutting the front half off, going to park the whole thing. And that means the train's going to be here probably all night. Yeah, I got a nice. This is why you don't want a deadline of this. This is why, if you can make, if you can... Yeah, we got a guy driving, I don't really care about him. This is why, uh, basically, you want to somehow know someone who works here. who will tell you when the damn thing's leaving, because we've been here six hours. If it's night, and, yeah. would this be that bad to get into? So we got... Two southbounds here now and a northbound just pulled in. We got these guys. 
they're looking to get one as well. They might be getting on the same train. Uh, you know, I've been here like seven hours. It's a lot of waiting. The cooler situation is, it's still okay, but we're gonna run out. I mean, I don't know, maybe before you leave, if that thing ever leaves. So uh, this closest train to us here is probably what we're gonna get on if it ever moves on that white greener. That's the closest ride right there. I mean, I've kind of just assumed we're not gonna hang out with other people on this trip. Uh, we've got, you know, a cooler of beer, which takes effort. Those guys have dogs, which is a hassle. And I'm just assuming, you know, we made the effort to fill this cooler with beer that we don't really feel like sharing it with everybody. They seem like nice guys, but, uh, you know, this is ingenuity here. This is not for everybody, so I think we're just gonna stay on our side of the bridge. Well, the train, we're on it. Come on, focus. Uh, just about dark here. Stoby Jim Kenobi pulling out of Grand Fall from Burlington Northern, heading south. I guess we'll just catch the scenery on the way back tomorrow. Long ride to the darkest hours of the night. Now the train is almost at the famous Keddy Y. So basically we are stopped in the, uh, I'm not sure what canyon this is, kind of very close to the Feather River. That is the crew putting a new crew on. So one thing about this line is you're not going to know if you're there at night. This isn't even really where the actual spot is supposed to be. So it was a fairly reasonable ride to the darkest hours of the night. Uh, I think we both got some rest. Looking like... Um, a complication here is we're not sure where the ones going this way to go back are going to stop because we're not at the place which is the Keddy Y where basically this is going to join another uh, set of tracks further down where these trains will branch off towards Stockton. Um, so I guess we're just going to walk in from here. I definitely don't see any reason to hang out here. There's nothing going on. So, uh, not that there's a town or anything. This is totally out. Very All right. So this is the Keddy Y here, which is basically, what a Y is, is like kind of a little triangle shape place uh, where trains can go in, in three different directions. And the reason this one's interesting is all three legs of the triangle are interesting. We've got Two are trestles coming right out of that tunnel. And then back here, the third one is going through this rock in the form of a tunnel. So basically, any train crossing this, it's going to be doing something interesting. This is the Burlington Northern Line, which goes north to Klamath Falls. That's Union Pacific over there. And uh, you know, that goes to Elko, uh, first Portola, California, then to Elko. Very interesting spot for watching trains. And there's a lot of guys who just hang out here just for the purpose of watching trains. So here to the left is the Burlington Northern. Then to the right, going east, is the Union Pacific. I believe both of these were uh, originally Western Pacific. So you can see that tunnel says it's from 1925. This nice creek down below is definitely pleasant in the high temperatures. There's some kind of little path along there too. Right down here at the bottom of the Y, again we have the UP, Union Pacific, 
east-west line, and then you got the Burlington Northern over there in the background. So a very interesting spot. Keddy Resort, which uh, surprisingly is completely dilapidated and shut down. You can see all the bunkhouses and stuff, as well as the big central dining facility, our history. Looks like they've been that way for a while. You can see it's a real value. Oh, I think this has got it's got to be 20 years old. All this gourmet stuff for under 10 bucks. John here's got to make a quick call. Yeah, it's just seven miles that way to Quincy. We're gonna try to hitchhike in. The train is like right down there and we're not gonna leave the train because if one shows up going the other way, we'll probably just get on, get out of here. Yeah, so I mean, one dilemma anyway, which is kind of why we're just gonna try hitchhiking into town to delay things. We've got foamers. I don't know if you can see them over my shoulder. Foamers are rail fans. They're guys who just watch trains all day and take pictures of them. So basically these foamers are just perched up here with the total direct view of that trestle down here. And what's going on is that we're going to need to walk back across that trestle in order to get on the train when it pulls in. So right now we're kind of just hoping they'll leave because I don't think there'd be anything to make them happier than calling in two guys trespassing on the, the railroad. So we've decided we're gonna go into Quincy so we can get a burger and fries. Sometimes it's just worth it to stick your thumb out. Give it a shot. So we are <laughs> pulling in to Quincy right now. We've got a nice ride. So we're pulling in, we, <laughs> we got a ride, <laughs> we got a ride from, what's your, what's My your name's name? Vanessa. Yes, and she's a very nice uh, example of Northern California kindness to drop us off here. We're going to try to find the, the uh, burger, burgers, fries, and beer location. And then when we head back, we're hoping those foamers won't be there. Here we are. So this is the pub, and I'm going to drop you guys off over here in this corner. Awesome. This uh, cheeseburger with tomatillo cilantro dressing and local microbrew here at the uh, Pangea in Quincy. Just what the doctor ordered. going on basically it's uh, starting to get late in the day and there's been zero trains going north we're hoping not to miss too much of the scenery it's supposed to be pretty nice um, we're starting to run low on beer obviously all the ice in the cooler has melted and that's kind of annoying additionally yeah we're just kind of you know it's one of those frustrating moments of when is this thing gonna show up because there's supposed to be three a day. We passed a bunch coming down here, and there was a bunch going north when we were up there. But right now, there, nothing. There has not been one going uh, north since we've been here today. So it's kind of kind of frustrating. We're debating what to do. We're running low on supplies, and uh, especially uh, beer. This is warm now. It's kind of a bummer. You know, 
And we still got some rail fins. Yeah, the rail fins. The the foamers are still they're still up there with their camera. We're starting to not really care. We're considering that we'll just get on a moving train right here at the tunnel and try to get out, out of sight before they show up. Ooh, that's it. There was 30 in there yesterday. What the F? Well, approaching dark here at the, the other side of the Y. And basically, it's, uh, I don't know. I was hoping we'd see some scenery on the way north, but a good chance it's going to be in the dark. There's been absolutely nothing. Pretty much absolutely zilch going north all day, which is surprising. It seems like these delays always coincide with uh, me being trying to get on a train going that direction. So it's starting to get pretty gloomy out here. This is the deep woods. This is not a joke. All kinds of twigs snapping in these woods and different creatures starting to emerge from their, their holes. So things should be okay. We got two guys here, but a little disappointed. It's gonna be another night trip. Right here, 1075 means liquid, liquefied petroleum gas. So let's hope this thing doesn't get hit with a bazooka. Train is coming to a stop right in the yard. I'm really hoping nobody spotted us get on. It's kind of a little bit spooky because there's like no escape at this point. All in. About to join the Union Pacific Main Line at Klamath Falls here. Guys like this worker here are definitely questionable. Why is he there? Why are we slowing down? Now I'm officially on the Union Pacific Main Line towards Shimolt. Why we're stopping again. This is, uh, I need to point out that Klamath Falls is a hot yard. Cool here. Not what it is. Yeah. So we're stopped here in the Klamath Falls, uh, the place where BN Track joins Union Pacific. It's always a little stressful because it's a fact. This has got a bull problem. Like an overload of, of rail police here. This is the Amtrak station, so I think we're good. I think we are uh, out of here. Hopefully. Problematic that this is what we got in Klamath Falls to get us to Bend. We're like 40 miles out of town. We're not even close to halfway. The 30 pack was gone a while ago, and uh, I don't know. Things are looking a little more grim. It's starting to get very hot out here. 
Uh, we're kind of in the desert almost. As you can see, there's a lot of scrub and probably rains here like two times every summer, you know, but we'll, we've got some water. I don't know what's going to happen here. Well, here we are. Basically ran out of wine. It's supposed to be enough to get us to Chamolt. Well, we're about a fifth of the way to Chamolt. We should have used close to don't mention, these. Don't mention fifth. That's... Makes me want something right now. Probably should have got a bottle of Kessler. Something that would last a while. But I'm thinking one of those four liters of Carlo Rossi or a space bag is what is required at this point. And oh yeah, why are we stopped again? This is the third stop out of Klamath Falls. Uh, I have no idea what's going on. It's starting to get really annoying. Not a big train yard here, just kind of a crew change for trains passing through. Definitely going to get off, check out the river, go jump in there, a couple other odds and ends. It's pretty hot out and uh, we're definitely looking to cool off. Alright, so we're going to go to the Deschutes Brewery. It's downtown Bend, right on the Deschutes River. We'll grab a couple of pints of cream ale and maybe a burger and fries. So we got this engine right here watching us. Gotta get out of here. I think we're just gonna make a break for it. You wanna just go for it? Yeah, let's do it. All right. Yeah, we gotta just go for it. Ready? Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. go. You first. Get off the prop. Time to get in this water. I think it's just a ditch, but we could have gone to the cart spot. All right, so this is Ben, and what we've got going on here is like an antique car rally or whatever, which is very exciting. Senior citizens and that crap, but we're kind of disappointed because you know they're not drag racing, they're not doing anything exciting. In addition, it kind of looks like a, uh, basically it's just a town for, for rich snobs. I hate to say it, but that's what all these sidewalk cafes kind of indicate. So, we're bored. Um, we're bored that a Jeep here is in a, a car rally. I don't understand how that guy got in there. And we're probably going to head back to the train tracks and leave. But, this is what it looks like if you ever wanted to see Ben because you're probably not ever going to come here. I mean, you got a couple decent looking rigs here. There's a lot of them. Yeah. That's nice. But it's just geezers driving these things. Just, I mean, they're driving around the block. Where are the drag races? The racing for slips and all that stuff. I don't know. Not here. Something tells me these guys' kids are not going to get an inheritance because of their dad spending so much money on their car. What is that, a GMC truck that gets in here? Well, folks, as uh, hobos are, you know, solitary and always doing their own thing and all that, it's time to see it. John has got to go back to the stuff he's got to do. Oregon, I've got to get back to Seattle. Yeah, 